So I was singing at this little pub back in New York and uh, one night this awkward kind of dorky guy oh, walks in and, no. and he's all alone and he's clapping louder than anyone. So obviously, you know, my first thought is weirdo, loner, creepy guy is probably going <laughs> to ask if he can buy me a drink. Which of course I do. Which of course he does. And so I'm like, Dad, can I have some more juice? Of course you can, pal. You want my help? No, I got it. Okay. So I'm like, you know, 10 seconds away from blowing him off and walking to my car. And then he starts talking to me about my music. And it was just so immediately clear that he got it. You know, he was really hearing what I was trying to do up there and, and, and understood why it was the most important thing in my life. You know, a lot of guys had come to my shows and, and thrown out compliments trying to score, but with him... I, I had no intention of having sex. I thought she was ugly. <laughs> really. <laughs> Let me finish. Okay. He, he just really cared about getting to know me, you know? And so I thought, hey, not my usual type, but <laughs> what the hell? Give it a shot. I, I had just broken up with this guy, Greg, and the last thing that I wanted was another douchebag. But she went out with me anyway. That's right, <laughs> yeah. Look at us, seven years later, that douchebag's my husband. I'm her douchebag. <laughs> well, this is a very delicious lunch. Thank you. Sure. So, uh, how long have you been in aviation? Five ten years. years. Seems like five, doesn't it? It does. That's why, that's why I said five, because it seems like it. But yeah, ten years. And Gordon tells me that you uh, work out of the Boston area. You must be Sox fans. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it gets cold out there, so socks are, um... Socks are important. Mm -hmm.